Now it's time for your 90.9 FM News Update. Student Activities Biannual Coffee House Talent Show is back this semester. In-person tickets for the March 27th event are already sold out, but virtual tickets are still available. Tickets are $10 and will be open for sale until March 25th at noon. Six people escaped and were rescued from a boat fire on Smith Mount Lake on Saturday afternoon. Firefighters managed to put out the fire, but the boat was not salvaged and eventually sunk. The cause of the fire is being investigated by the Franklin County Sheriff's Office and the Virginia Department of Wildlife. And now on to sports. The Liberty men's basketball team is set to play the number four ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys in the NCAA tournament on Friday. The Flames will have their hands full as they face a squad led by superstar freshman Cade Cunningham. The Flames, of course, are no stranger to upsets and they will look to rely on their strengths on both sides of the court this weekend. Here's Liberty's Darius McKee on what he believes is his team strength going into Friday's game. We're an unselfish group of guys who play collectively on both ends of the floor and we take pride in both ends of the floor and we take things one thing at a time. Liberty Women's Cross Country made history on Sunday by becoming the first ever team in program history to compete in the NCAA championships. The Flames finished 26 in a 31 team field and was led by sophomore Adeline Eckley who placed 66, marking the third highest finish from a Flame at the NCAA meet. Liberty Baseball made the most out of their weekend by adding three shutout wins over a Sun opponent, University of North Alabama. This came days after the Flames beat the nationally ranked North Carolina Tar Heels 8-7. With these wins, the Flames' win streak extends to 8 and their overall record to 10-5. This is Mario Cosentino, and you're listening to 90.9 The Light. 